Hello everybody. This is a tool I made and as uh, some of you already guessed, it's a valve spring compression tool. I'm just going to describe the construction. I'm not going to explain how to put this all together and put the valve in the engine. If you if you work on small engines, you already know how this thing works. I'm just going to describe the construction. I made this because the ones on Amazon, they're the one I wanted. It was a hundred bucks. You can probably get something cheaper, but this to me cost me nothing. A couple of pieces of steel, maybe 10 inches long each from here to here, about 10 inches long, could be more or less. Uh, this here is a piece of uh, metal that comes from an electrical box that goes across the octagon box, which supports the fixture on the ceiling. And number 10 bolt and nut. And then at the far end, a couple of holes, uh, 3 sixteenths, uh, get yourself a dowel pin or something. Uh, and it keeps this whole thing secure and locked together so it doesn't slide around. So basically it works like a pair of tongs. And that's it. Um, I'm not an expert welder. I graduated from kindergarten class, uh, welding kindergarten. Um, it's not pretty. It's pretty ugly, but it works and, it, and it's perfect. So there you have it. And once you get the valve in, uh, well, you you know, squeeze the squeeze the tongs together. You can loosen the nut and just pop that out, and your valve should be in there. So. Just a little demonstration. That's your, there's a valve right there. And just put that up through there. And th that would be in your engine. And you, you put that in the little tiny, that little tiny cavity where the, uh, the, the valve uh, uh, cover is. And you put your valve in there and that's it. See, it, it works perfect. You don't have to muck around with pliers and screwdrivers. It's almost impossible. But this is a simple tool to make. It took me about half an hour to make it and it, it's absolutely perfect so you don't have to buy specialty tools sometimes you can make your own and this one here is absolutely perfect for me uh this is a, a shout out to the facebook group the small engine repair group i uh, i created a post and i have a lot of positive uh feedback and constructive criticism i thank you all but there's something else that you can add to your toolbox if you're working on small engines. Thanks for watching.